Welcome back to Houston Live. I am Lauren Kelly along with Derek Shore. Derek Shore. It is a symbol of Houston and it was called the eighth wonder of the world when it opened in 1965. Of course, we're talking about the iconic Astrodome, which turns 58 years old this month. And there are so many special memories that so many of us have there. Well, during our morning meeting, it ran long because everyone started sharing right. their memories. Yeah. Some of our producer have seats from the original Astrodome. Look at this beautiful building. So ah. share your photos and comments. Click to pins.com. Aruz Wan commented, it was an engineering marvel in its time. Clarence Ledbetter just called our producer to say he was a barber at the oh. Astrodome. Now he's 90 years old. Pretty cool, and just two of many, many stories and comments. So next weekend, dome lovers are gathering at the third annual Race for the Dome to help preserve its legacy and future. Here with details, Phoebe Tudor and Beth Weedower jackson with the Astrodome Conservancy. Ladies, welcome to Houston Life. It's great to see you both. Thank you for asking me to host this event. I've posted a link on my Facebook page. Beth, let's talk about the Conservancy. What is it and why does it exist? Absolutely, thank you for having us. The Astrodome Conservancy is a private nonprofit organization and our mission is to advocate for the Astrodome for the future of this building uh, to protect it and to find a creative solution for its future now a lot of people always ask can you still go into the Astrodome unfortunately I don't think that we can but this event that's coming up next weekend is a great way to still kind of partake and be there around it it's a race around the dome. Exactly, so we're hosting our third annual Race for the Dome, uh, which is, as you said, a race around the Astrodome through NRG Park, and it really is to raise awareness to keep the dome front and center, uh, and to support the work of the Astrodome Conservancy as we work with Harris County to find a, a reuse. We're seeing some video from previous years. You can see this is an event for all ages. There's a kid-specific event that's a 1K, or you can run the 5K if you would like. Uh, along with my hosting duties, I'm hoping to run the 5K. Yeah. Phoebe, uh, turning to you, you and your husband, Bobby, you are so well-known in the city. You support so many causes. Why did you want to be part of the Conservancy, and why is the Astrodome so special to you? Well, my background is actually in historic preservation. I have a master's degree from Columbia in historic preservation and started my career in New Orleans as a landmark historian. So um, I've always enjoyed being involved with preservation things and there's none bigger than the dome. <laughs> so I think it, it sort of felt like the kind of thing that it was worth supporting. Um, and it's a Houston icon. As you said, so many people have memories and how nice that they're calling in and sending their memories here. And we hear those stories all the time. But even more than that, it's, um, it's, it's one of the most enduring images of Houston. And it's a brand that is incomparable. It needs to be put to good use uh, as well as preserved for history. But it could be a great uh, economic driver for Houston and for that neighborhood. Um, and I just fe felt like I was ready to hop in and try to help. Now, I'm glad you did. Yeah, Phoebe, as a historian, can you tell, for viewers who might not know much of the backstory about it, can you tell us a little bit about the dome history? Well, it was uh, opened in 1965. It was the world's first domed sports arena. It was built to keep everybody out of the heat. So there was, there was a reason that it was an indoor, air-conditioned uh, sports facility, and it really did uh, lead the pack for all the domed facilities that came, to, came after it. Uh, uh, so many things have happened in the dome that people remember. So of course it was the home to the Astros um, and the Oilers for so many years. It also was the site of many concerts like Elvis and Selena. Selena's and, last uh, concert, Supremes, televised. Supremes, uh, lots of country artists. It hosted a lot of monster truck rallies and fun events like that. Uh, and of course, the rodeo. The rodeo, you know, they the rodeo it. put the Astrodome on the map and the Astrodome <laughs> put the rodeo on the map. So. They were, they were perennial tenants uh, throughout its, yeah. its first run. A long list of history, and honestly, how many hurricanes has the Astrodome survived? It's built <laughs> like a tank, and I feel like there's a lot of, for people who are just sort of casually looking at the Astrodome, they say, oh, it's gonna be expensive, this and that. I'm glad that you mentioned the economic driver, because as the eighth wonder of the world, I think there is this fascination with the Astrodome. It's almost like it has its own personality. Yeah. Uh, ladies, we could talk to you forever, but before we let you go, let's talk about how to 
register. It's very easy. You just look up the Astrodome Race for the Dome website. Absolutely. We are at astrodomeconservancy.org. You can register there. It's $35 uh, through the end of this week. You, we also have sponsorships still available. So if you or your business are interested in, in uh in getting in front of all these dome lovers, we encourage that as well. But we're going to have a great time. Not only is there the, the race, but then we're having a birthday party afterwards. So we encourage everyone to come out for cake and balloons and a lot of fun. It's awesome. going to be a great time. Saturday, April 15th, 8 a.m. I will be there. Beth Weedower-Jackson, Phoebe Tudor, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your work.